on guys, it's Jazzy, and today I'm here with one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time and fellow Brooklynite, Mr. Mike Tyson. How are you today? Doing good, Jazzy. How are you doing? I'm great. It's really great to see you again. Last time I saw you, it was at Fanatics Fest, and that was a really great interview that I did with you. Let's try another one. Yep, let's go. Well, as a child, you faced many difficulties at home and in school, but found tranquility with your pigeons. So how does spending time with pigeons help you mentally in regards to coping with all the problems that you were facing at that time? It's hard to even explain it. That's just my life. It's just um, I can't even explain why I have them. They've been in my life so long. It's just that's what I do. That's my life. That's my outlet in life. And I'm really glad that you found something positive and you found a positive way to cope with that as well. Me being a kid, especially being from Brooklyn, I understand all the adversities that some of the younger kids also go through. I also see what they go through in our neighborhoods. I have some family that live in um, Brownsville as well. So I am very well aware of what happens around there. So, But listen, so um, adversity is beautiful. Um, I'm so happy I, I endured it. Nothing more better than adversity. You know, adversity makes the strong stronger and the weak weaker. Without adversity, we're nobody. We have to be tested in life. Without test, there's no testimony. Yes, and I hope everyone else is listening to that because that's a very special message. Well, you are now 58 years old and you are technically unk status. So congratulations on that, Uncle Mike. So okay. at your age and now where you are in life, what is your definition of happiness? Just living life, family, friends. Everybody has a different definition of happiness. It's not always family or friends. Maybe it's individual love. It's happiness has, um, it's just so many different definitions of happiness. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. And yes, you have to value everything in life. And there's different definitions of happiness, like you said. Absolutely. Well, with the big fight coming up, what are the first three things that come to your mind when you think of Jake Paul? I don't think much of him. I think he's very funny. Yeah. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny, he's a very nice guy, and he's very cool, too. I agree. Yeah, and he's pretty tough, and he's very dedicated to his career. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see, definitely. Well, in your return to the ring for this fight, you are setting a monumental opportunity for kids my age to see the legend, Mike Tyson, in the ring for the first time. So after such a successful career, what type of legacy would you like to leave behind when it's all said and done? Well, I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. Legacy doesn't mean nothing. That's just some word everybody grabbed on to. Someone said that word and everyone grabbed on the word, so now it's used every five seconds. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die, and it's going to be over. Who cares about a legacy after that? What a, what yeah. a big ego. So I'm going to die. I want people to think that I'm this. I'm great. I'm No, we're nothing. We're just dead. We're dust. We're absolutely nothing. Our legacy is nothing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. That is something that I have not heard before. Someone say that as an answer. So thank you so much for giving me that kind of idea as well. Can you really imagine somebody saying, I want my legacy to be this way when I... You're dead. Why do you want somebody... Do you think somebody really wants to think about you? How, how, what's the audacity? I think, I want people to think about me when I'm gone. Who the fuck cares about me when I'm gone? Well, my kids, maybe, or grandkids. Yeah, Who true. Who cares? And again, thank you so much for sharing that. And I also have a gift. To, I have a gift for you. And I know yeah. that last time at Fanatics Fest, I actually asked you a question about custom. You're, you're pretty sharp. You got your little. Oh, thank you. You look sharp yourself too. Stuff. I like the casual outfit right here. You look thank nice. You, thank you. Built. Built. Yes. That's my brand. Built. Oh. I have a new brand of clothes called Built. Oh, it looks very nice on you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last time at Fanatics Fest, I interviewed you, like we said, and we talked about Cosmato. And yes. I know that he's very special, and he's he was a very big impact in your life. And that's, that's why I'm here with you right now. Yep. And because of that, I have a gift for you. This is actually mine from my collection. Really? Yep. Thank and you very much. Do you mind showing the camera real quick? Oh, please. It's my pleasure. Yeah, it looks really cool. That's actually from my personal co uh, collection, and I wanted to show you that. And you can have it if you want. I'm really honored. Go ahead and Thank keep you. It. Thank you very much. I think I'll do just that. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? Well, everybody come watch the fight. I'm sure you'll never forget it. Thank you so much. Well, everyone, I'm here with one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, Mr. Mike Tyson. And until next time, Jazz and out. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you so much.